Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Regen Nation. We've got a new update for you here. It is 2024.44.3.1. I know, it's a lot of numbers. I think so too. Uh, this is the newest update. And uh, look for it if you haven't got it already. If you have got it and, and you noticed some other features that I didn't mention here, leave a comment down below and let me know. And um, if you haven't seen it, this would be a good idea to take a nice little walkthrough. But basically, it's minor fixes, but it's minor fixes to the bigger which, uh, improvement or software update called 2024.44.1, which had cold weather improvements, which it's really not much I can show you in the car. These are all like behind the, the scenes improvements. But basically what it says is the battery preconditioning has been improved for better supercharging performance as well as better automatic windshield defogging during and after supercharging. So it'll actually know and and increase and improve your defogging after supercharging. That's pretty impressive. And and during. So I guess when you're sitting in the car, maybe in the winter if you're like fogging up the car, it'll actually be better for it. So that's good to know. And better preconditioning. That's you know, that's huge, I think. Because we don't want a repeat of last year, I think, was it in Chicago or Boston, where they had that deep freeze and Teslas everywhere, superchargers were dying because people, A, they were going in there super low. So Tesla knows people are going to be idiots again. We're going to have cold weather. They're going to do this again. So they improve the software. So this doesn't happen to people. Moving right along. The next one is trailer friendly superchargers. Once again, this is something I, I, I can't show you. You just have to know because it's it happens. It's an improvement that's done in the background in the software that um I can't visually show you on the screen. But now you can see whether a supercharger has trailer compatible stalls, which is good. Now that the cyber trucks out, it's gonna be a lot busier and needed when people start towing, even though the cyber truck's not the greatest for towing. Hence the reason I don't have one in my driveway and also I don't have a million dollars. But that, that aside, you know, people are going to be towing with it, whether short distances or not, and may need to. So we know traditionally most superchargers aren't set up for trailer-friendly charging. Uh, they have some end stalls, but some people use them and uh, don't care, and they just use them anyways. So now this, when you tap a supercharger location pin on the map you'll see whether it's trailer friendly or not it'll tell you so it's going to be built into software it'll tell you whether it's trailer friendly and when it's mapping and, and routing you and it knows you're towing it's now going to route you if it can to the trailer friendly one when you're in trailer mode so th these are all improvements from the supercharging team now that they're a brand new team because elon had a little fit and uh, got rid of everyone and now some if not all people are new um you know this is a, a, a good improvement by the team Moving right along, it says minor updates. They say the heat for your charge port in case your charge cable is frozen or stuck. Now you can go to, now, hold on, I can actually show you this. So controls, service, charge port heater. So control, let me, let me do this here. Control, service. Uh, where is it, where is it? Oh, charge port heater. Oh, and you can turn it on. So this will defrost your your charge port heater that's good it's good to know so that's in service and then you can turn it on and turn it off when it goes on is there any icon or anything telling you that it's on no it just goes on okay the next one is improved battery energy estimation for better accuracy while driving so that's good in the i guess in the energy screen it's better now an update to battle of polytopia the game in there which if you watch my uh, updates and my software updates i don't really uh touch on the games too much if you're a gamer then you may want to go to a different channel for that important security enhancements and improvements are included so that's good i mean anytime we can make the car and the software more secure and improve it i'll take all day long it doesn't say exactly what it is it just says improvements and enhancements and then last but not least minor fixes and performance enhancements have been applied whatever that means but some undocumented features in here that haven't been talked about is auto park improvements. So if you have FSD and auto park, your vehicle's auto park performance and visualizations have been improved. That's good, it's good to know. Another minor update 
that is undocumented is, you know, when you plug into a DC fast charging cable and the battery is too cold for fast charging, an estimated remaining battery heating time is displayed indicating when the charging can start. That's going to be in selected vehicles, but that is getting back to what I was talking about that happened in that deep freeze last year where uh, the media went nuts with, um, I think it was in Boston or Chicago, like I said, and it was just so cold that it wasn't charging. Uh, now it's going to preheat the battery or start heating the battery and it'll give you a timer so you know that it's actually doing something so you don't, you don't think the car is actually just dead and frozen and it's not doing anything. Another thing is the voice navigation guidance is now available in Czech. So if you are a Czech speaking uh, driver or owner of a Tesla, now you can uh, have the voice navigation in your language, which is good. More languages, the better. Now, also an undocumented feature is the steering angle visualization. The steering wheel visualization has now been updated when traveling at low speeds. You'll now be able to easily see the steering angle and see the amount of room the vehicle will take when slowly reversing or driving forward. So that's cool. Like you can actually see not just the back path, but the sideways path and, and the wheel path when you're reversing. That's pretty cool. Now, another undocumented feature is in the service menu. So if you go into the service menu, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you go into the service menu now, they've got some enhancements. Now, a lot of these may not be for you and not uh, to be messed around with, but there's new brake panel updates for, for everyone, including the Cybertruck. There's new speaker panel for it too. So now you can test out all the speakers and uh, test it out to make sure everything's working. I'm not going to do the test because I don't want to screw around with it, but that's just telling you what it actually does. And if you have a new Model 3, Highland or a Cybertruck for the ambient lighting. There's a test for that too in the menu. So a lot of these new service enhancements are for the techs and stuff like that. But if you want to play around with it yourself, you can do it at your own risk. I am uh, going to get out of here and not play around with it. And there you go, folks. There you have it. That is 2024.44.3.1. That is the newest update that's around that uh, right now this car doesn't include FSD because the uh, the subscription went up and I didn't renew it because we're getting into the winter months and I didn't think it's worth renewing uh, for the winter months. So without FSD, this is if you just had a regular car, uh, this is the newest update. And uh, look for it if you haven't got it already. If you have got it and, and you notice some other features that I didn't mention here, leave a comment down below and let me know. And um, if you haven't seen it, this would be a good idea to take a nice little walkthrough. Thanks for watching, folks. We will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.